Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to uh, talk a little bit about that report. And we're going to go through it, but we are going to uh, really only talk about one part because that one part is what matters. There are tons of things in that report that can be discussed, but from my perspective, there's one part, and if that is implemented, none of the other stuff matters. It matters for accountability because of what happened, but let's be real. These reports are not about accountability. They're about stopping it from happening again. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, uh, the feds, they put out their report on Uvalde. There is uh, one thing that we have talked about on this channel for literally half a decade when it comes to these types of situations. And that is that as far as law enforcement is concerned, the only acceptable tactic is to press, to continually put pressure on the subject. And you continually apply that pressure until it is no longer needed. If you hit a locked door, you go through a window, you go through a ceiling, you go through a wall, it doesn't matter. You don't stop. Yes, that means you are going to take fire, but if you are taking fire, that means they are not looking at the kids. And yes, that means that you may not make it. That's your job. Welcome to the profession of arms. I have said this for half a decade. It is in the report. I've never seen it put this bluntly before. And this is the key recommendation. It says that, a, uh, that the, core, the core objective quote, must be to immediately neutralize the subject. Everything else, including officer safety, is subordinate to that objective. If law enforcement accepts that, internalizes that, and actually applies it, nothing else in the report matters. Nothing else matters because it's not going to be questioned. If that Consistent pressure is applied. It saves lives. People view the actions of law enforcement who arrived as doing the absolute best that they can because it is the absolute best that they can. The communication, the transparency, all of that stuff that's talked about in the report, none of it matters. If everybody who shows up knows that their main objective is to apply pressure to the subject until they are no longer a threat. The communication issues, yeah, I mean, they could be better, but they did it, right? And you can say that that's some um, hypothetical, but it's not. Look at all of the commentary about Nashville. As far as the proper way to do things, yeah, there were huge errors, but everybody who had ever applied the proper way came out to defend them because it didn't matter that they didn't do it in a pretty fashion. They showed up, they continually applied pressure, and they saved lives. Period. That's all that matters. And it's in this report, and this is the first time I have ever seen it, stated this bluntly, your life doesn't matter, including officer safety, is subordinate to that. Um... There are other things, and I'm sure that it's going to be discussed. Um, I'm sure that that's that the communication and the way that parents were talked to, all of that, but that's going to be all over the news. This is what matters. This is the part that has to be accepted, has to be applied by law enforcement if you want the situation to change. Nobody cares whether those officers who show up to respond to this go home at the end of their shift. Officer safety is subordinate to the objective of neutralizing the subject. It's taken half a decade to get, to get that into a DOJ report that bluntly. Now, Let's just hope that law enforcement understands it. You want to be warriors. The warrior cop and all of that stuff. 
remember that the way of the warrior is the resolute acceptance of your own death. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.